Ooh, daddy. Hi guys, Alex here and welcome to Mukbang Critic. Today we're going to be looking at a YouTuber called Steven Sushi. If you don't know who Steven Sushi is, he's a 27 year old YouTuber from the United States and he has about 500,000 subscribers. So get that coin. He must be rolling in the pizza dough. So I first heard of Steven Sushi from Chantal Marie Foodie Beauty, of course. She loves to lust after him on social media and in her videos. She even tried his ranch one time. Yeah, he does have his very own ranch, kind of how like B Loves Life has her very own sauce, which is like $20 or something like that, which I think is a little bit ridiculous. So according to FamousBirthdays.com, Steven is a member of the mukbang community on YouTube, primarily seen eating unhealthier food options such as burgers, fries, and onion rings. My favorite onion rings ever. So he first started off his channel doing reaction videos and vlogs, shout out reaction videos. And then I guess he found his niche when he started doing the mukbang videos. So before we get into the reaction, I wanted to talk about a video that Steven put out just a couple months ago in February. It was called Goodbye to the Mukbang Community. And this video stuck out to me because it kind of reminded me of Chantal Marie, aka Foodie Beauty, because in the video, he says that mukbangs are taking a toll on his mental health. He feels like he's waking up just to eat every day in front of a camera. And he said the same thing last year. Okay, so 2019, he said that he said the same thing around April 1st, which not exactly the best timing to release a serious video. Am I right? But he said he took the initiative and went on keto and lost 40 pounds. But just starting in 2020, January 1st, he was eating and eating again for the camera and he fears diabetes and other health problems. He ended the video by saying he's going to do what works for him, and then he went back to doing the same unhealthy mukbangs. So you guys know where I see the parallels there with Amberlynn and Foodie Beauty. It's the same thing, right? But he seems to have stuck to his guns as far as just doing unhealthy mukbangs for the past few months. As you guys can see, he uploaded his goodbye to the mukbang community video on February 3rd of this year. And just two days later, he's back eating a double bacon jalapeno burger from Five Guys. As you guys can see, ever since the goodbye to the mukbang community video, he's just been back to doing mukbangs that are as unhealthy as could possibly be. Is he really with Rich Locks? I didn't even realize that. Interesting. Okay, so I thought this was worth mentioning just because it's Rich Lux, but they did a video together and they don't talk. So it's kind of like the Zach Choi ASMR videos. I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> All right, so now that we know a little bit more about Mr. Sushi, let's go ahead and get into a reaction. Okay, so today we're gonna be looking at the Philly Cheese Pizza Hot Wings Mukbang Dominoes. I decided to go with this one because he is known for eating pizza on his channel, specifically Domino's, I think. Uh, just any pizza, really. So let's just get right into it, I mean, shall we? You just called me, you just called me, you just said, that you're on your way like i didn't expect it to start out so abrasive okay i'm getting a little bit of nikocado vibes uh but i have to say shout out to him for having his name on his coldest water bottle Hey, what is up, you guys? I'm back. What? That's pretty dope, actually. For the video. So look what we have today, you guys. I'm a little irritated, but I gotta get over it. it. Took me two hours to get this here. Are you serious? Okay, I would be heated too. Before Grubhub and DoorDash came around, there was a business in my area that did delivery from various restaurants. And one time I ordered from there, and they took three 
hours. I was absolutely furious. But I can't imagine waiting two hours for Domino's. Okay, we gotta bleep that out. <laughs> Keep that revenue, good looking out. I feel like all that unhealthy food could cause anger issues. I mean, just look at Nikocado, for example. I'm just because of the other people I've seen in the past, I have to question if this is like just for the camera or not. I'm already mad as it is. The girl took her an hour and a half from when it said your Domino's is on the way one hour and a half to get my food I called four times oh the driver should be there in five minutes 20 minutes pass oh the driver should be there in five minutes I'm like you know what give me a refund like it, it, don't say that I'm angry or <laughs> because if this would have happened to you you would have been pissed you would have been heated yeah I would have been heated and, and, and the girl has the balls to say I couldn't find your house you have so many trees. There's a huge gate. I, I don't know. I had a, the guard wouldn't let me in. Whatever. All like a whole bunch of stuff. Let me calm down. Let me just <laughs> try the pizza. Hopefully. Okay. Don't they see the Domino's thing on the top and just know? All right. So we're already not on the best foot, you guys. I got Philly cheesesteak pizza. There's Philly cheesesteak on here. No, really? They didn't even <laughs> cut it right. Okay. That's actually the worst when they don't even cut it right. I used to do that. I used to work at a pizza place and the people I didn't like, I wouldn't cut their pizza right. I cut it like halfway. <laughs> Pray away the pain. Uh oh. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I saw clips of him in the past where it was like absolutely insane. This is just like depressing. Your car says Domino's. I'm waving. She's looking right around me. She points at me. She calls me. There's no more meat on that. I'm like, why is she calling me? She's like, I can't find your house. I'm already, I'm, I'm a, hello, do you see me? I'm standing right here. I'm, I'm waving. She's like, <laughs> oh yeah, okay. No, all right, cool. I would turn around. Now we're just like furious eating. I'm going for her to drive to me. She passes me up. Leaves my street. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I was pissed. <laughs> she called me up. Hi, sir. I can't find your house. <laughs> you just called me. You just called me. You just said that you're on your way. Like, you like you just told me. <sighs> that just reminds me of my old days taking Uber before I bought a car. And oh my gosh. Not competent Uber drivers are the absolute worst. I'm a pretty understanding guy. Sounds like it. But. <laughs> Use common sense. I just don't understand why you would want to dip every little thing in ranch. And I've watched like a few of his videos. There's always ranch involved, especially with the pizza. I'm just like, it's not really my thing. Okay, you guys. So he did finish pretty much the entire pizza and pretty much the whole thing of wings. And he does say at the end of the video that his stomach is a little bit upset and 
worries that they might have done something to the food. I think that was just a joke, though. So let me know what you guys think of these mukbang critic style videos. We might explore some other mukbangs. I was thinking about talking about Sauce Queen, but then I decided I wanted to do Steven Sushi for the first video just because that video that he made talking about his problems with mukbangs really intrigued me and made me think about other people I've talked about on this channel, of course. So let me know your guys' suggestions for other mukbangers that you would like to see me talk about and react to. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.